Uh, so listen, we know that you have questions every single day about COVID-19, and every day we're trying to get the best answers to you, the most accurate answers. This morning we are joined by infectious diseases specialist, Dr. Isaac Bogosh. Uh, so good to have you with us because this is what we need is accurate information in this time. First question is from a viewer. So to you, doctor, can I still gather with friends in small groups and how many people is too many? Take it away. Let's just let common sense prevail here. Come on. I mean, we've heard from every senior health authority in the country about avoiding gatherings. And, you know, it's hard to really micromanage every individual situation. Uh, so just use common sense, which I hope most people have. Uh, you know, don't don't gather in large groups and, and keep keep your distance from others. You know, I'm sure a couple of people is just fine, but uh, let's keep it small. OK, so do previous immunizations like a flu shot help protect against COVID-19? Great question. They do not protect against this particular infection. So that is true. They do not protect against COVID-19. However, they're still extremely important. We know we have to optimize our health and ensure that we're in prime health in case we get an infection. So that means uh, we should be up to date on all our routine vaccinations, our pneumonia vaccines, our flu vaccines, our regular vaccines that we should get to ensure that our health is optimized in case we come down with an infection. Okay, this is a big question. Do you expect the spread of the virus here in Canada to eventually look like it currently does in Italy? A lot of people have been saying uh, about the states in particular, they're about 10 to 14 days behind where Italy is now. Where do we look in that picture and how can we look at that as an example of where we may be? Yeah, I mean, this is completely dependent on how we act now. And again, we've heard from every provincial health authority. We've heard from federal health authorities what to do. We know what social distancing is. Uh, we know what we're supposed to do. And, and now it's time to do it. So if we act together, if we roll up our sleeves and do what needs to be done, we'll take a different path. And we can take a path similar to Japan or South Korea. If we take uh, the path, uh, if we if we don't adhere to these guidelines, yeah, sadly, we might take a different path, and 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 it won't be the best path. It could be the Italian route, which which is completely avoidable. So it's completely up to us to do the right thing. It was Dr. Tam, I think, who said that you know the window is closing, which were words that um, were echoed by the Prime Minister yesterday. That the next two weeks are the scenario where we're going to see: are we doing this right, or are we doing this wrong? Do you agree with that assessment? Yeah, 100 percent. And in fact, we know that everything we do now has about a one to two week delay. So the cases we're seeing now were really acquired about one to two weeks ago. So we will see the, the, our policy, whatever policy that gets implemented, whatever people do now, we will see the outcomes one to two weeks from now. So if we keep seeing cases go up and up and up over the next week or so, that's not going to be reflective of, you know, the border closing or the social distancing measures that have been applied this, you know, in the last two or three days. So everything's delayed by a couple of weeks. So it's really, really important that we start as early as possible in this epidemic to ensure that we limit transmission between individuals, we limit transmission in community settings so that we really mitigate this uh, this curve and we mitigate this upswing in, in cases. And we, we really, truly flatten the curve. We all got to do this together. I think it's the only way we're hearing that this is going to work. Uh, and uh, and sound voices like yours, uh, Dr. I Isaac Bogosh, thank you, as always, for that vital information. Good to have you with Anytime. us. Anytime. Have a good one. Take care. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.